Hey guys, John Rettinger here. I'm sure everybody out there has heard of Dell. They make some of the best Windows computers out there, some of the best netbooks, and they also happen to make some of the best monitors. And that's where this story begins. I've got an older HP external monitor, and the resolution on it is quite low, and it's starting to hurt my eyes trying to read emails and such. So I thought it was a good time for an upgrade. I did a ton of research, and it seemed that Dell's monitors were, were the best at uh, the most reasonable prices. I meant to order one of their sort of top of the line 23 inch models, and it was getting a little bit late, and I accidentally ordered the wrong 24 inch model with a lower resolution than what I was looking for. Totally my fault and my mistake, but I figured, you know what, tomorrow morning, I'll call Dell, and I'll tell them I ordered the wrong one, and, you know, I'll probably be delayed a couple days, you know, not a big deal. It was completely my mistake. So I called Dell and I got an order confirmation for my monitor. It said, if you have any questions, call this number. So, of course, I called that number. And uh, after about four or five minutes on hold and strangely a, a lollipop song, uh, I was put through to somebody. And before I sort of get into the story, uh, everybody knows that, that Dell outsources their customer service. I don't have a problem with outsourced customer service. Everybody needs to make a living no matter uh, where you are. So this isn't a, a tale about outsourcing and uh, insourcing, whether you keep things in, in America or another country. This is just a story about Dell's customer service um, as a whole. So I got a hold of, of a gentleman who told me that I had the wrong number, despite that being a number that was in my email. Not a problem. He said he was going to transfer me. So he did. And uh, about seven or eight minutes later, I got a woman on the phone who told me again I was in the wrong department. She was going to transfer me again. Still a little bit annoyed, but okay, it can happen. Finally got to a third person who said, okay, you've got the, got the right person that we're speaking to, but we can't process your return. I said, well, you know, I, the order hasn't shipped out yet. It's still in your warehouses. Um, is there any way that we could sort of work this out so it doesn't ship and arrive and I have to pay a, a restocking fee? She said, no, no way. It's going to arrive and you're going to have to pay a restocking fee regardless. So you know what, it was my mistake, and I ordered the wrong monitor. While I don't agree with having to pay a restocking fee for a completely unopened item, um, I can understand it. You know, it, it happens, and that's not part of the reason that I'm upset. So I, I said, okay, that's fine. So the monitor arrives. This is a few days later, it shows up, I've got the box, it's still sealed. I call Dell again. This time I called the proper number that they gave me. Once again, I'm told I've got the wrong department, so I'm transferred yet again. Transferred three more times later, and uh, 45 minutes in the time frame, finally have somebody on the line. And this is sort of how the, the interaction goes. It was a, uh, a gentleman who says, I understand, that, I understand that you ordered the wrong monitor. I understand. Um, are you sure you don't want to keep that monitor? It's a great monitor. I said, no, I really want to return it. He's like, well, I hear great things about it. Are you sure you want to return it? Yes, yes, I, I'm certain that I want to return the monitor. Well, you can't right now. Our systems are down. Why don't you try calling back in a few hours? So I, I very nicely and calmly said, you know, it took quite a long time to get to you. I don't want to call back in a few hours. I want to get this resolved now. So, well, I can't help you. Our systems are down. So, well, is there a supervisor there uh, that can help me? Nope, uh, they can't help you either. Uh, sorry. So, uh, a little bit annoyed, I... <laughs> I let the guy go. Actually, he hung up on me. Um, I called Dell back again, went through the same process, and talked to a woman this time who told me, are you sure you want to return the monitor? It's a great monitor. Yes, I want to return it. I want to uh, send it back. She's like, well, there's going to be a 15% restocking fee. You know that, right? I said, yes, I understand that. It's a little bit annoying, but I'm going to take care of it. She's like, well, I'm not so sure that we're going to be able to return this monitor for you. At this point, I started to get a little bit upset, and I said, you're Dell, you're a multi-billion dollar corporation, I'm trying to return an unopened product, this should be a, a really similar and, and easy process to go. She tells me, no, we're not going to be able to return the monitor. She gets a little bit upset with me. No, we're not going to be able to return your monitor, um, our systems aren't uh, functioning right now, I'll send you an email in a few hours. I said, you know, that's not acceptable, that's not going to work, I need to return this monitor, this should be a simple process, I just want to return this. She's like, well, okay, how about I process it and um, we'll send you an order confirmation. So I told her, you know, maybe things aren't working. I, I thought that your systems were down. She's like, oh, well, well they're, they're back up now. So I, the moral of the story is Dell makes fantastic products. 
I never, ever, ever want to deal with their customer service again. It is absolutely atrocious. It's awful. They don't know how to handle simple return items. I've had to return things to Amazon, uh, Apple, AT&T. All those are very large companies which have much, much, much better customer service. So Dell, to, to you, your customer service is an embarrassment to the industry. If you want to be a retail giant, you should be able to handle simple things such as returning unopened items. That should be line item one on your customer service department. I couldn't even imagine what it was going to be like if I had to troubleshoot my monitor, if there was an issue with it, if it was broken, or these poor people that are trying to get Windows 7 upgrades on computers they're buying now. Your customer service is an embarrassment, and I hope that you do something about it, and you just lost one very big customer. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.